Greetings, gents. I'm Geo Fatboy for ShaveNation.com. Welcome to another episode of Geo Fatboy's Everyday Shave. And by the way, we now have, I think after this video is complete, we'll have a video for just about every single Mercure razor made in Solingen, Germany, and just about every single Parker razor made in India. And there are lots of both of those. You're talking about probably over 100 razors right there. And Edwin Jagger and the other brands were working our way through. So you can go to the website and see just about every safety razor in action and described in detail and find out how it shaves and also an aggression rating on the razor. We're working hard on getting that complete for you. Today's going to be one of those shaves where you might want to get a cup of coffee because it's going to take a few minutes. <laughs> My previous shave, I was in a big hurry. I think it was less than eight minutes for the entire video. So I had to be somewhere quick and that was a speedy shave. This time, I'm going to take it slow. Today's everyday shave is the Parker 48R. Here's a look at it. It's kind of a goldish, yellowish tone on this handle. Up at the very top, it's gleaming chrome. The typical Parker safety razor head up on top. And it does read India on the bottom of the base plate. Work your way down. Smooth chrome tapers from thin to thick. And then it meets up with this gold bulbous handle. And then again, tapers down and out again. And this is kind of sharp at the bottom here. It's very precise. At the very bottom of the razor, it's got a little dimple inside there. This razor will stand up by itself. So if you don't have a stand, there you go. It will stand up. It's a three-piece razor. Let's disassemble. Remove the handle. Remove the top cap and safety bar right there. The blade I'm going to use today, I want to try one of these new Mercure blades. They used to be made in Germany and it's kind of interesting. Here's the package. On the side of the package it says Mercur Solingen, but on the back of the package it says Made in Czech Republic. So you can check that out right there and then there. Here's what the blade looks like. It comes double wrapped in two pieces of paper. It reads on the front of the paper Mercur Super Platinum Blade. Two layers of paper. Oh, there is a warning here. Do not wipe the blades, just rinse. Keep out of reach of children, extremely sharp. So common sense, be careful. Don't touch the sharp edge of the blade. Here's what it looks like. It is glued down. Yep, glued down pretty good. Four dots of glue, if you can make that out. So it was in there pretty securely. On the blade itself, it reads roast free stainless, rust free stainless, and then made in CZ. So Czech Republic. Let's drop that right over the post. The threaded post and the two pins. We install the safety bar. The ridges go up toward the blade. The India portion goes down at the bottom like that. We install the handle. All right, the feel of this razor, it's long enough where it drops right in the palm, easy to spin. And again, this precise bottom here kind of digs into your palm a little bit, gives you a little extra grip. I feel that the best place to grip this razor is right here where this bulb and this gold handle come together. That's the spot right there. The specs on this razor, it weighs in at 3.4 ounces or 96 grams. Overall length from top to bottom is four inches or 101 millimeters. Let's perform a shave with this razor. Today's gonna to be a Castle Forbes shave. We're gonna use Castle Forbes. We'll start from the beginning since we have time. It's actually Thanksgiving day, so Thank you for all your support, all previous 12 years and moving forward. Couldn't have done all this without you. So thank you very much. And that's why I'm taking my time for a nice Thanksgiving shave today. Today's shave will be a Castle Forbes shave. Castle Forbes comes from Scotland. This is a pre-shave. It's called the pre-shave. And then the shaving cream will be 1445 shaving cream, Castle Forbes. Nice big jar, lasts a long time. And then the aftershave balm also 1445 Castle Forbes. So let's take our Shave Nation bowl, warm it up under the hot water. Castle Forbes 1445. Remove the lid. It's got a secondary lid, so it seals real tight. You got to remove that as well. This one's been used a bit. Take my Shave Nation mini spoon right here. Just scoop some out. Not too much. That's the mini spoon full right there. Doesn't require a lot of shaving cream. Drop that right in your Shave Nation bowl, right into that lather spot down at the bottom. Just like that.
This brush is a very reasonably priced bore brush. It's by Omega for Parasso. There's a look at it. It's about $19. Soak that under the warm water. Give it a couple shakes. We'll go right in here, see if we can mix a lather. Take the tips, drive them right down into the lather spot. No problem building generous lather. Scoop it right back down in. This smells really good. Even without it, adding any water, we're getting lots of lather. But let's just add a little bit. Just a little bit to warm it up even further. Generate even more luscious lather. Look, it's spilling out over the sides. Plenty of lather for several passes. Look at that. Beautiful. Regarding this Castle Forbes. Castle Forbes 1445 Shaving Cream uses fine natural ingredients to produce a fragrance like no other. A fresh, clean, masculine fougere scent of freshly cut grasses and ferns in a base of lavender, tarragon, and citrus. The 1445 line honors the year that the Forbes clan chief was named as the first Lord of Scotland. I wonder if that was before William Wallace, Braveheart, or after. We'll have to check on that. Castle Forbes ranks among the top, must-try, ultra-premium shaving creams available. Expensive, yes, but the ingredients are the best of the best, and only a small amount is needed to make a, a luxurious, lubricating lather. Lasts twice as long as lesser creams, making it a relative bargain considering the quality. The company is family owned and their fine products are developed at the centuries old Forbes Castle in Scotland. Contains high quality essential oils, not synthetic fragrance. Produced in small batches at the private perfumery in Scotland. Highest quality European shaving cream, 6.8 ounce, 200 milliliters, so it will last a long time. No parabens, no added color, no animal products or testing. All right, so we know it's good stuff. Let's check it out. I'll warm up my face and we'll lather up. All right, I've got a pretty significant beard growth today, as you can see. Like I said, pre-shave, we're going to put a little bit of this into our... Whoa, that comes out really fast. So I got some in my fingertips. Massage that in. Be careful. Comes out really quick. I unscrewed the cap by accident, but if you leave it, you can squirt it out in little drops. Just massage that all over into the beard. Leave it in. Just grab your copious amounts of lather. Let's lather up. Starting on the right, moving to the left. Just cover all the inner areas you intend to shave. Smells great. Kind of woodsy. This brush is a nice strong backbone. So if you like to drive that lather into your beard, this brush is great for that. And it's not the softest brush, brush out there, but it is a little bit scritchy. So guarantee you're going to shake up your beard, lubricate, hydrate, prepare it for the shave ahead. We'll figure eight, smooth everything out, set the brush down. Swipe the lips, swipe the neck. Clear the runway so we can see our sideburns. All right, here we go with the Parker 48 hour gold tone. Let's get our shave on. Under the hot water, loaded with a Mercure blade, right side. Pretty good shave, pretty aggressive shaving. Removing my heavier beard growth. One side filled, flip it over, right down the neckline. Good audible feedback too, you could hear that working. Rinse, rinses out very easily, lots of stubble down there in the drain.
flip it. Again, the handle can be slippery, but if you grip it right there, where the gold meets the silver up at the top, that's the place to hold on to it. Now under the nose, compact head fits right in there. Rinse that off. A quick face rinse. If you wanted to, you could apply more pre-shave and then your shaving cream again, but I don't feel the need. I think we're doing fine right here. So I'm just going to go back to the bowl, relather for a second pass. Shaving cream is really thick. I didn't use much and look at there's really a super cushioning. Easy to lather up. Very happy with the cream. Swipe, swipe. Clear the runways again. First pass was with the grain, north to south. Now we'll go across the grain. I feel that this blade is aggressive, but not as sharp as a feather, not as sharp as the Dovo made in Germany. Still getting a slight bit of drag on it. Tell me what you think. Compare it to the Mercure blades of the past that were made in Germany against the grain on the neck. Across the mustache. Little clean up. Okay, rinse that. Another slight rinse. Let's relather the cheeks. Go against the grain on the cheeks, get ourselves baby smooth right here. Don't scrape, but skim. Excellent. Other side. Stretching the skin with the thumb. Beautiful. Rinse that. A final rinse to the face, warm and then cold water. Let's take our Shave Nation Wide Stick Alum Block, remove the cap, just glide that all around the areas you've shaved. Sealing off any small nicks or weepers if you got any, but we didn't get any today. Just a nice, close, comfortable shave. Recap that, set it off to the side. Let that soak into your skin for about 30 seconds and then rinse it off. Pat the face dry. All right, Castle Forbes aftershave balm, 1445. Let's try that. Just a little bit in the fingertips. This one comes out a lot slower. Much thicker than the pre-shave. Exactly the same scent as the shaving cream. The pre-shave, by the way, I didn't get any scent from that at all. I think that's unscented. This goes on nice, protective. It's a little bit thicker. It dries quickly. You can tell that it's protecting your skin. Very nice for winter days. Let's take our towel and cool it off. Accelerate the drying process. That feels really good. Let's take a final look at the razor, the Parker 48R. 
Very nice shaving razor. Feels good in the hand. You would think it would be slippery, but if you grip it right there where these two points come together, it's kind of custom made for your thumb and forefinger to hold on to it right there. Drops in the palm, very easy to spin. Very comfortable shaving. With the Mercure blade, I'm gonna give this razor five on a scale of one to 10. It wasn't super aggressive. You could probably crank it up with a feather blade or that Dovo blade that's made in Germany. That would crank it up to a six or so. But with this blade, I'm gonna give it a five. I got a nice shave from it. I just felt that the blade wasn't cutting through as easily as the feather or the Dovo or one of your sharper blades. So possibly the Mercure blades that were made in Germany, I would say that they probably were better than the ones made in the Czech Republic. But what's your opinion? Put it down there, let me know. Let us know in the comments section. That's it for today. Again, happy Thanksgiving. Thank you for all your support over the past 12 years. And please continue to come back, watch the videos, and support ShaveNation.com. Keep us going. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, share my videos with your friends. Over 500 videos right now. Check them out, shaving and more. If you want to pick up any of these items, just click down below the video where it says more or show more. You can grab them right there or go to shavenation.com. Enter what you need in the search box. It'll pop right up. Thank you very much for watching. Visit shavenation.com for all your shaving supplies. I'm Geo Fat Boy. Have a great shave. Have a great day. Uh-oh, looks like I have a four o'clock shadow. Gotta go to shavenation.com. Have a great shave, have a great day.